Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this square A, B, C, D embedded inside this uh, quarter circle. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue square A, B, C, D is uh, 28 uh, centimeters square. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square ABCD whose area is uh, 28. And now let's recall this area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, our area is 28. So therefore, S square equals to 28 centimeter square. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. Now we can see this square and square root undo each other. So therefore, S equals to, and on the right hand side, this square root of 28 could be simplified as 2 times square root of 7. So therefore, I can write this thing as 2 times square root of 7. So therefore, the side length of this blue square turns out to be 2 times square root of 7. So therefore, this side is 2 times square root of 7. Likewise, this side is 2 times square root of 7. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw the perpendicular bisector of this uh, chord AB from this uh, center O of this quarter circle. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram where we can see that uh, this E is the midpoint of this chord AB. So therefore this line segment AE is going to be equal to this line segment uh, E, B. And we know this whole side length uh, A, B is uh, 2 times square root of 7. So we are going to divide it into half. So this side length is going to become uh, square root of 7. And likewise, this side length is going to be square root of 7 as well, as you can see over here. And since we are dealing with this uh, square A, B, C, D, so therefore uh, this side length uh, a, B is equal to this side length uh, C, D. And these side lengths are uh, parallel as well. So therefore, this point F is the midpoint of this uh, line segment C, D. So therefore, these side lengths uh, D, F and this side length F, C are going to be equal as well. And this is going to be square root of 7. And this is going to be square root of 7 as well as you can see over here. And by the way, we have used this uh, perpendicular bisector theorem in this step where if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, that the radius uh, bisects the chord. So therefore, this angle is 90 degrees and likewise, this angle is 90 degrees as well. And now let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that these two right triangles OFC and this triangle OFD are congruent triangles according to side angle side theorem. Since this side length is same as this one, these are our 90 degrees angles and this side length is in common. And since these two triangles are congruent, so therefore this side length is going to be congruent to this side length. So therefore this triangle COD is an isosceles triangle since this side equal to this side. And we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, these two angles are going to be equal to 45 degrees each since the sum of all these three angles must be 180 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OFC. We know that this is a 90 degree angle. This is 45 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 
45 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, OFC is an isosceles uh, triangle since these two angles are equal. So therefore this side length is congruent uh, to this side length. So therefore if this side length uh, is uh, square root of 7 then this side length uh, OF is going to be square root of uh, 7 as well. And moreover, this side length BC equals to this side length EF. If this is 2, two times square root of 7, this has got to be 2 times square root of 7 as well. And now we can see that this side length OF is square root of 7. And this side length EF is 2 times square root of 7. So therefore, this total length OE is going to be the sum of these two individual line segments. So if we add everything over this OE length turns out to be 3 times square root of 7. So therefore our this side length OE turns out to be 3 times square root of 7. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect these points O and B as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and we can see that this uh, triangle OEB is a right triangle and we can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this quarter circle so let me go ahead and call this uh, radius uh, lowercase r and since we are dealing with this uh, right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 3 times square root of 7. So let me go ahead and write down 3 times square root of 7 whole square plus b in our case is square root of 7. So let me go ahead and write down square root of 7 whole square equal to c in our case is this radius r. So this is going to become r square. Let's go ahead and simplify this first one. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 7 is going to give us 63 plus once again this square and square root they undo each other. We got 7 equals to r square so therefore r square turns out to be 70 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square therefore the area of this quarter circle is going to be this whole area divided by 4 so i'm going to write down pi r square divided by Four. And now we know that our r square value is 70. So therefore, I'm going to replace this r square by 70 over here. So therefore, this is going to be equal to 70 pi divided by 4. And if we reduce that one, that is going to give us 35 pi divided by Two, and we know our pi value is approximately equal to 3.14 so therefore the area of this uh, quarter circle is going to be approximately equal to 54.98 so thus the area of this uh, quarter circle turns out to be approximately equal to 54.98 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye